so we will deal with vertical circular motion it is a special case of circular motion in which we combine a little about work energy theorem so if we consider a mass m undergoing a circular path like this not necessary a complete circle if we give it a velocity u then at a certain angle theta it will acquire a velocity v if we apply work energy theorem between these two points considering this as reference level we will obtain we can write initial energy is equal to final energy we will obtain half mu square is equal to half mv square if this length is l then we can break the component as l cos theta and this will become l minus l cos theta so potential energy will become mg l minus l cos theta so if we write the equation for v square then v square is equal to u square plus 2 gl Minus 2 gl cos theta. V square is equal to u square minus 2 gl plus 2 gl cos theta. We can put this in a box like this. U square minus 2 gl plus 2 gl cos theta. The first equation that we have for vertical circular motion. At this juncture, if we check the component of mass. we have a mass component mg which will exert a force mg cos theta in this direction followed by mv square by l which will be balanced by tensional force so if we write the equation for tension then t is equal to mg cos theta plus mv square by l we can write t is equal to mg cos theta plus m by l v square can be written as u square minus 2 gl plus 2 gl cos theta so we can write i've done this purposely so that we can cancel this out and we will obtain m by l gl cos theta plus u square minus 2 gl plus 2 gl cos theta or t is equal to m by l u square minus 2 gl plus 3 gl cos theta using these two equations of velocity and tension we can predict everything about a vertical circular motion suppose if i want to reduce the condition for the particle to move in complete vertical circular path for the particle to move in a complete circle if i want the particle to move in a complete circle then it is necessary that after crossing this point and reaching here the string does not slack if the string slacks then the particle will reach over here and follow a parabolic path over here and the complete vertical circular path cannot be obtained so at the highest point the weight must be balanced by mv square by r or we can say that tension can be just equated to zero at theta equal to 180 degree so at theta equals pi we cannot afford velocity to be zero but we can say that tension just approaches zero if tension just approaches zero then we can say that u square minus 2 gl minus 3 gl is zero by putting theta equals 180 degree and we obtain u is equal to root over 5 gl So if we provide this velocity then the particle will move in a complete vertical circular path if we are considering a case in which the particle is moving at theta equal to 90 degree coming back again and going at theta equal to 90 degree in the other side then if we are considering theta equals pi by 2 
then this value will vanish and at that point if I say t is equal to 0 then u will become root over 2gl this will become 0 u is equal to root 2gl if tension is equated to 0 the same thing will be obtained if I put theta equal to 90 degree in this equation velocity is 0 u is equal to root 2gl so we will obtain the condition u is equal to root 2gl for the particle to move 90 degrees in this direction coming back and again going in this direction so we can say that if velocity is greater than 0 but less than root 2gl it will follow oscillatory motion like this if it is equal to root 2gl then the particle will reach here fall back and again reach on the other side if it is equal to root 5gl or greater than root 5gl complete vertical circular motion will take place complete vertical circular motion will take place greater than or equal to root 5gl if it is somewhere in between this root 2gl and root 5gl then somewhere in between the string will become slack and the particle will follow a parabolic path will rejoin the circular path over there and come back to this position it will not reach the highest point in between this the particle will follow a parabolic path in between the string will become slack one more question that is asked in this is maximum and minimum tension if the particle is moving in vertical circular motion so maximum tension is when the particle is over here at the top, bottom most position t maximum can be written as mg plus mu square by l if u is equal to root 5 gl then mg plus m 5 gl by l 6 mg and if i calculate t minimum then it is at the highest point of trajectory when the tension is zero and the weight of the object is taken care of by the velocity at that point which is equal to <coughs> which will balance the weight of the object at the highest point so these are the three necessary nodes that we have let us take one case in which the velocity is in between this which is in between these two velocity we deal with a case in which uh, u is greater than root 2 gl but less than root 5 gl so it means that the string will surely cross the 90 degree mark but will fail to complete the complete vertical circular path it means somewhere in between the string will become slack the tension will fail the particle will cross this mark but will fail to reach over here somewhere in between the string will slack follow a parabolic path and reach back here now several questions can be asked based on this I am just taking a case let us say if u is equal to root 4 gl if u is equal to root 4 gl let us calculate the point where tension becomes 0 so if we solve this 0 is equal to m by l u square minus 2 gl plus 3 gl cos theta u square 4 gl minus 2 gl plus 3 gl cos theta we obtain minus 2 gl by 3 gl as cos theta or cos theta is equal to minus 2 by 3 this signifies that at a certain angle this theta the tension will slack for the numerical perspective I am breaking it as 90 plus phi means I am taking this angle as 90 and this as phi so we can rewrite this as cos of 90 plus phi as minus 2 by 3 minus sin phi as minus 2 by 3 and sin phi as 2 by 3 the particle will reach over here and will have a certain value of velocity but the string will slack due to this component of velocity the particle will continue to be in a state of motion and will follow a parabolic path to calculate that let us calculate velocity first if we calculate velocity 
v square is equal to u square minus 2gl plus 2gl cos theta means minus 2 by 3 square root we will obtain 4gl minus 2gl minus 2gl minus 4gl by 3 square root 2gl by 3 square root so it will reach over here with a velocity v and considering this if we take this angle as phi this will become 90 minus phi so it will behave like a projectile which is projected with a velocity v with the angle of projection 90 minus phi so if we calculate the maximum height attained by the particle which is projected at root 4gl it will follow a path like this will fail to reach on top will just reach like this so if we calculate this total height let us calculate the height attained by this projectile using the formula for projectile motion h maximum is equal to v square sin square 90 minus phi by 2g we can rewrite this as 2gl by 3 sin 90 minus phi is cos phi if we calculate cos phi from here we obtain cos phi as root 5 by 3 on substituting this in the square form 5 by 9 by 2g this will cancel out we obtain 5l by 27 this 5l by 27 is the height attained during this projectile path if we calculate the total height attained from this point it is going to be l component of l cos phi l sin phi followed by this height so total height attained can be written as l plus l sin phi plus h maximum 5 l by 27 l plus l sin phi 2 l by 3 plus 5 l by 27 we will obtain 27 l plus 18 l plus 5 l 15 and 5 20 0 and carry to 4 5 50 l by 27 is the maximum height attained if the particle is projected with root 4 gl it will fail to complete a complete vertical circular path it will follow the path like this will become slack and follow again the remaining path sometimes question is asked find the time during which the string is slack so we can calculate the time for projectile motion this is the time during which the string is slack because again the string will regain its tautness over here it will become tight and will reach back here let us take a case in which the mass is not attached with a string if the mass is not attached with a string if it is projected in a circular groove then how do we solve a case like that if the mass is attached with a circular groove like if there is a circular groove and a mass is projected in it with a velocity u then we need to find the condition so that it complete vertical circular path so the main problem is at the topmost point the weight of the object mg should be balanced by mv square by r if the necessary condition is to be obtained then we can say that mv square by r is equal to mg v square is equal to rg and then we can apply work energy theorem in between these two points if we apply work energy theorem initial energy equal to final ener energy energy conservation half mu square is equal to mg 2 r plus half m v square m m m u square is equal to 4 g r plus r g u is equal to root over 5 rg the same initial condition is obtained as before over there it was root over 5 gl over here we obtained root over 5 rg the particle will complete this motion a question like this is also asked last example for this video 
find the height from which the particle must be dropped so that it complete a vertical circular path so our requirement is to obtain this velocity at this point so we can simply solve by applying work energy theorem in between this these two points we can write it as mgh is equal to half m u square phi bar g m g m g h is equal to phi bar by 2 2.5 r i'm just dropping an assignment for you if suppose i remove this circular groove like this then what should be the height what should be the height so that the particle will cross over this and complete the vertical circular motion 